Physical distancing is one of the most powerful tools we have to fight COVID-19. It's the concept of reducing the uh, closeness of people so that they don't transmit uh, COVID-19 through close contact. COVID-19 is spread through uh, coughing or uh, speaking to people within two meters for um, a prolonged period of time. And so if people stay apart from others, uh, then it will greatly reduce transmission within the community. Key steps to uh, maintain physical distancing include staying at home as much as possible, only going out once a week for essential trips to the grocery store or pharmacy, keeping more than two meters away from others as much as possible. If you cannot keep yourself away from others because you need to uh, go on transit or perhaps go in a grocery store, consider the use of a cloth mask to reduce the spread to other people. You should also avoid gatherings of more than five people. You can still go outside um, what, at least once a day uh, to get some fresh air and take walks by yourself uh, or with your household member, but while maintaining physical distancing of greater than two meters from other people. So some tips on how to be able to do so are to go for a walk when it's uh, less busy around your neighborhood, perhaps very early in the morning or a bit later at night. And uh, you can still take your dog out for a walk and get some fresh air. Social distancing was the term that was first used when we started to describe uh, separating from others as much as possible to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The concept has evolved to indicate that we want to physically distance from other people, but still maintain social connections through virtual means. So these can include keeping up to date with your friends and family through phone, through virtual chats, um, and other, uh, other ways through technology. Think that you have symptoms of COVID-19, such as fever, cough, or shortness of breath, you can go to our Getting Tested section on our website at peelregion.ca forward slash coronavirus. The provincial self-assessment tool will walk through the different types of symptoms of COVID-19 that you may have, as well as check if you have any risk factors for medical complications from COVID-19. It will then let you know whether or not you should go to an assessment center or if you should stay at home and recover from your illness. Regardless of if you get tested for COVID-19 or not, if you are ill, it's important for you to stay at home and isolate yourself from your other family members for 14 days from your symptom onset. However, if you are a healthcare worker and have symptoms of COVID-19, you must get tested before going back to work. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call at 905-791-7700 and ask to speak to one of our staff. If you think that you have severe symptoms such as chest pain or difficulty breathing, please call 911. It's important to watch for signs and symptoms of COVID-19 such as fever, cough, or shortness of breath for 14 days from your last exposure. If you do not have any symptoms, you do not need to get a test for COVID-19. However, if symptoms do develop, please take the online COVID-19 self-assessment tool to see if you need to get tested. The lab at Public Health Ontario does prioritize testing for those at greatest risk of COVID-19. The lab at, at this time is prioritizing testing for healthcare workers, those who live in long-term care homes and 
uh, retirement homes, as well as those who uh, may be most vulnerable. As a result, your test results may take longer um, than anticipated, and this changes, this may change on a daily basis. So we do appreciate your patience for waiting for your test results, and you can check for yourself on the patient lookup tool that is on our website at peelregion.ca forward slash coronavirus. Assessment centers are used to see patients who think they may have COVID-19. We have several locations for Peel residents available including at the Mississauga and Credit Valley sites at Trillium Health Partners in Mississauga, at uh, Peel Memorial Center in Brampton, and at Headwaters Hospital in Orangeville. For more information about assessment centers, you can visit our website at peelregion.ca forward slash coronavirus.